All right, you've probably heard about Botox and its cosmetic benefits, mm -hmm. but did you know that it can also help with many other gland and muscle issues from head to toe? Absolutely. Lauren Richardson has the story. When Jim Bodwin walked into his first Botox appointment at UConn Health, he was ready. I have a, had a problem with drooling, and I, my primary doctor here sent me to Dr. Rodriguez, and uh, with the Botox, it has uh, cut down on the drooling, so I don't even have it anymore. Bodwin has a family history of drooling issues. He has been going for a year and a half to Dr. Bernardo Rodriguez at UConn Health and has noticed a huge difference since then. It's made me comfortable around people. Uh, I'm not constantly uh, wiping my face and uh, trying to control it at home. And uh, it's just made it easier to live with. The procedure, he says, takes about 15 minutes, and he gets it every three months. It is a piece of cake. I, I don't have a problem with shots, and uh, any shots. So uh, with me, it's fine. And for a few minutes with the doctor to control it, it's made a big difference with me. And meanwhile, Dr. Bernardo Rodriguez, assistant professor of neurology at UConn and movement disorder specialist, says there are several uses for the injections. And, and this is not only the salivary glands. It can be used for sweat glands in the armpits. It can be used for sweat glands in the hands or soles or the feet. Including help with migraine relief. People who have chronic migraines, disabling migraines, they can have this treatment every three months and they will have on average, like a 50% improvement in their headaches. And even other disorders and diseases. So the application of Botox in neurological diseases is very wide, all the way from Parkinson's disease to tremors to dystonia, stroke, multiple sclerosis, even spinal cord injuries. Rodriguez explains that it really is all about a temporary relief to pain. The protein in the, in the toxin kind of blocks the nerve that is going to stimulate the muscle or the gland. And when you block that uh, nerve, the message is not transmitted to the muscle. So the muscle doesn't fire as often or as strongly. In order to start Botox treatment, a patient can be referred directly to the clinic or see a neurologist. We will also review the indication. We will review the use of the Botox. We will also have to specifically design a regimen specific for that patient. And at the end of the day, it's all about making a rewarding impact in people's lives. It, it makes a world of a difference. It's very, uh, it's very rewarding to treat a patient with Botox because the effects are very visible and they're very fast and they're very sustained. And for patients like Bojwin, it does all of that and more. I don't have that feeling of, I don't know if I've got anything on my face or I uh, just made me more comfortable. It's normal now. Absolutely awesome. All right, for more information on Dr. Rodriguez and the benefits of Botox, you can visit health.yukon.edu.